Blog Talk Radio. Baby crawl before it walks. Battle before it talks. Grown man comes in the truth. Goes back the second time until his mother's is
pinche esa pel, más como una pelena, reino semi reina, tú sabes cómo es, sigue para adelante que atrae en el left, en el left, dale, 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 más se vale, más se vale, te sale, saludando ese campeones en la calle, predicando Cristo y todo lo que él hizo, para que estamos listos para el paraíso, el mundo lo va a calar, para you, you best believe it, so David is not a you, so grab your hammer like you a Mac and B's, baby, more time I wanna see if you believe with me, so don't sweat it, you gon' get it, and if you're handicapped, then grab that prosthetic, and those that didn't think you could, that line gonna wish they were. Mask on, but that's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> we 
got it. we got an awesome it, the week. Let me just say for me, the week has been so much better. You know, I was so emotional last week. I'm thinking I'm doing better this week. I don't know, just everything that's going on. You know, just the the you know the riots and the protests mm-hmm. and just you know uh, just seeing Donald Trump jump up there and his hair flowing. Just all all that stuff is just stressing me out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. That's why I'm like even with the social media, I'm kind of like downturn on that a little bit because of the fact that what's going on in society that people are like they're like their minds are going crazy they got us in a, some sort of a frenzy mm. and we can't get back to who we are mm. and that's what we're trying to do and, 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 and have our guests like tonight no we got a know, bomb guest. we got the bomb yeah. guest tonight yeah. we high five on that yeah. 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 all Nice. Yes, yes. Demira, man, with the yes. track right there, it was so dope. Uh, yeah. We played two of her songs, yeah. actually. We played um, the first one we played was Stand Up, and the second right. one we played was Champion. Yeah. And we actually have her on the line today. Are you there, uh, Miss Demira? Yes, I am. What's <laughs> going on? Party over here! Party over here! Party over here! <laughs> party over here. <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. Uh, yes, we do. Shalom. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm excited to have you. I'm out, I'm trying to figure out where to even start because right. you're amazing. Like it's not like you're a new artist. You actually been out there for a minute. In fact, when I was reading from your bio, it looks like you started at the age of eight. Oh wow! Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. what's up. So it says that you are um, a Hebrew Israelite. So for those who don't know or understand that term, explain to us um, the Hebrew Israelites and and, and what that's all about. Well, um, the Hebrew Israelite, those two words are just synonymous to each other. So you can either call me a Hebrew or you can call me an Israelite. Some people say it together, but it's like saying black African-American. You get it? Uh, Oh, yeah. uh Mm-hmm. Okay, (laughs) but the Hebrew, those are the people of the Bible, um, and I identify as being one um, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, where it describes our slave trade, the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian slave trade, and it just basically lists all of our trials, and this is, um, if, if someone identifies with that, then they indeed are Israelites as well, so... That's basically the the children of the slave trade. Who keep right. So you're saying the, the Israel, Israelite yeah. that was like the, 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 the children of of Israel that was fleeing Israel uh, from from the Romans actually came to America, right? Is that something like that? I'm sorry. Say that again. I'm saying like the like the, the Israel's or Israelites or. The people that came from Israel actually had to like come. The, the ones that are here in America are the, the original Hebrews. Uh, yeah, we're all scattered in the world. Um, you'll find a lot of us in America, yes. But um, you know, those that are in Israel right now, the ones they call themselves Jewish, they're ish, mm-hmm. so they're not the real Jews. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like, like, like black so, people, your, your correlation right there, like blackish, like kind of black, but you know what? You know what? You like, uh, you're really not that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. So, definitely. But you're actually, you were born in Haiti? Is that what? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I was born in Haiti, but I came to the U.S. when I was one year old with my father when he got a, a job um, placement in America, so with computers and all. So, yeah, I just came with him, and we left mom mm-hmm. in Haiti. So I talked to her from time to time from Haiti on the phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how did you, like, who, you, you said you've been uh, writing music, making music since the age of eight. So who encouraged you or told you or gave you that um to write? Is it, was it your family? Like, were you in church with, when it came about? Like, how did it come up? How did, how did you even discover your gift? Well, I, I would have to say my father, he's a, also a singer, and he, um, he was actually a DJ in Haiti, a very well-known one back in the day. So he was oh, okay. always into music. So he would have records in the house, playing the oldies, right. singing, doing shows, you know. So it just kind of was ingrained in me. 
<laughs> did you end up forming any type of groups while you were young? Oh, yes. I was in a singing trio named Bliss. Um, okay. uh, my two girlfriends, I think we started in sophomore year of high school. And mm-hmm. um, and then we ended it, I believe, sophomore year of college because, you know, we mm-hmm. went all different colleges and, you know, time just took the best of it. So, but um, we mm-hmm. all actually yeah, still do music like in different yeah. ways. Yeah. 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 So um, the um, one of the tracks that actually I found on uh, YouTube when we were talking, the um, you actually really did the Wally hair anthem. Like you really was moving that natural hair thing yeah. long time ago. Like she got like almost two hundred thousand views okay. on YouTube for that song. So what made you um, create that song? Well, um, I remember you know, finding out that I I am an Israelite and finding that out I found out in Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen to fifteen. It speaks about Christ having woolly hair, you know, and I always had my hair relaxed, you know, and not really knowing my true hair, the kinks that come out of my hair because I had it relaxed very young. So I never had a chance to manage it m- myself. So when I found out, wow, okay, this hair that comes out naturally, that's the way Christ's hair was. Okay, well, I want to be in the image of my Messiah, you know, so I want to embrace that. So I was like, I wanted to encourage my sisters, you know, because, you know, we live in a world where the European look is is the norm, you know, and so, you know, I just wanted to use my gift to really encourage. Like like, what what you're saying, like like, uh, that Christ really had an afro? Oh, sure he did. Um, I mean, I don't know how you do it, but, I mean, I'm quick to pull a Bible out if you let me. I, I, would, say that. I, would, I would agree with you with that one. <laughs> she said she quick to pull a That's Bible right. out. You got yeah, to right. about yeah. it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer bronze and hair wool. Yeah, yeah, all the way, all the way up. Yes. Definitely. And that's crazy because that's not really how, you know, the Jesus depiction. is depicted. Yeah, depicted. Right, yeah. yeah. It's not like that. It's like straight hair, you know. I mean, the eye color changes, yeah. the face and everything. The skin Definitely. Color. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. they're not going to teach but, that in the Christian churches, you know. Right. right. But you also said that he was also he was out there in Maryland and New Jersey. What part of Maryland and New Jersey is that? Well, my grandmother lives in Baltimore area. And my grandfather, my late grandma, she just passed away not too long ago. But there, uh, a lot of my father's family live in Maryland. So when uh, I think we left when I was five to Jersey. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm a Jersey boy myself, so I, I get that. I'm like, all right. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, where? Where from? I'm from Asbury Park. Jersey. I'm from the Jersey Shore, Mount County. Yeah, uh, Asbury oh, Park. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we mm-hmm. kind of buzzed around Montclair, East Orange, Irvington, okay. yeah. and, and we, we stopped at. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the first two songs that we played before uh, we brought you on was Stand mm-hmm. Up and Champion. Yeah, so, true. so tell us, yeah. like, how, tell us the history behind those two songs. Okay, Stand Up. Um, you know, a lot, you know, um, I've been doing some background, um, and f- researching on YouTube as well. So I know as an artist, you know, like we, we write coming from our own experiences a lot of times. Sometimes we're selfish in our writing. We write for ourselves and then it ends up helping someone else, right? So right. stand up. Um, I was just going through a lot of trials in my life, you know, and and just being so hard on myself. And, you know, you know, when you give yourself the pity party and you want to stay down, but you know you can't. So that's kind of, that's kind of where that song came about, Stand Up. So it's just an encouragement for myself, of course, and others to know if you fall down, like the scripture says in Proverbs, you got to, you can fall down seven times, which is just a number of completion. You can fall down, but you got to make sure you get up, you know, because it's not the you way you start, it's the way you end. <laughs> Got to stand up. And, and so, and, and following up with that, what about champions? Or champions? Well, champion. That's one of the latest singles, which is featured my husband, my lovely lord, 
Bezalil. He's on that song. Okay. And um, he does a lot of my production. He does a lot of my, my instrumentals, uh, my mixing. He's just so mm. intricate in the music side. We're very, we're just that husband-wife duo when it comes to. I heard that. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. Yeah, it's nothing like. I bet you get on this other side, too. Like, put on the mix. I don't know. I put the sound of you like that. I'm like, okay, why does it do like that? I get that. I love that right there. I, I, Those uh, are um, good. With me and Mr. Stout yeah. um, becoming a couple or whatever, uh, the beauty in being with someone who, you know, you're compatible with, right. you know what I'm saying, who has right. the same yeah. interests as you, yeah. who you support him, who supports you, like, that's the bomb digging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there are a lot of couples that are missing that um, in their relationship, that, you know what I'm saying, that yeah. compatibility like yeah. that, but yeah. what, yeah. like, Peaches yeah. and Herb, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Adam and Eve, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I I love that. I love that, you know, the two of you are such a dynamic team, and it shows through the music. You know what I'm saying? Even your EPK with the bomb diggity, like I love how you did the bio that was so professionally done. You know, we don't always get EPKs like that, so whenever I get one like that, I like to definitely – showcase it, not just because it's nice, but also to let other artists know that follow us, like, okay, if you do an EPK, and if you really want to do it right, this right here is an example of doing it right, because right. it stands out. It makes you want to read it. You feel what I'm saying? So, yes, definitely that love was your, all my yeah. That was all my Lord's doing. He's also a multimedia artist. He's very multi-talented. He raps, Mm -hmm. he mixes, he engineers, he draws, he does websites. Mm -hmm. Most High really bless his hands, and I'm just grateful and honored to be his wife. Amen. Ooh, that is beautiful. Yeah, that is, yeah. Oh my I God. Know. Yes, that's awesome. That's we amazing. Need exactly that. Yeah. That's what's going to make America great again. That, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, yeah, that. right, right. Not walking 29 feet ahead of her and acting yeah, like no. saying, you, you know what I'm saying? King queen, yeah. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That gonna, that. I love that hearing that right there. That's I know. A, yeah, I'm going to put a pillow for that one. Yeah, me too, baby. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Yes, because you have so many couples out there that they can't stand each other. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even they didn't make it. Some of them didn't make it. Some of them didn't make it. They couldn't take being locked up together. I mean, you know, what he talks about is promise to have trouble in the flesh, meaning it's promise to have troubles in your marriage, you know, but it's about how you handle it, how you handle it through the scriptures. So that's what we do, you know. Whatever we get bumps in the road, we say, okay, what does the scripture say? How do we fix mm. this? How do we deal, you know? Mm. And that is so True. You know what I'm saying? God never, he never said you wasn't going to go through nothing. People are like, well, I'm going through this. How come God let me go through this? That, and other. God never said you wasn't going to go through nothing. He never, that never is what he said. But what he did say is, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What he did say is, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did say. You know, yeah. that's what he did say. And that goes for every aspect. I feel you on that. Now, are you working with an album with this song right here with, with, for the tracks you have out there? Or is it like a, um, an EP? Or what, what are we working with with, with your, your project? Well, I am working on an album. I don't have a date yet. But um, the first song, Stand Up, you heard was from my debut first album, Stand Up. Oh, okay. And then the Champion is just a single I put out. And Lord's Willing, it will be in the new album coming soon. Um, but I do have a double disc album, which was my sophomore project. And, um, you know, the first side was more for the married people. And the second side was more just, um, just spiritual edification for the people, you know? And I see you've worked with some serious people like, um, Craig Derry. Tell us about working with him. Oh, Craig Derry, he's so awesome. Um, we used to live in New York. That's where I met my, my Lord, my Lord husband. And we found him through a sister of ours um, from the congregation. And, you know, because she was a, a what's it called, um, 
a celebrity hairstylist, and, and somehow she knew of him, and she gave me his card, and then I went to his New York studio where he did vocal coaching. So he's worked with a lot of people. You can go to craigberry.net. He does, like, um, Skype um, vocal coaches if you're, you know, not in New York. But it was wonderful. He's worked with um, Michael Jackson, Alicia Keys, Mary J., uh, Mark Anthony, um, a lot of people. Anthony Hamilton, a lot wow. of people. Yeah, That's so he's, he worked with me very well, very He's a great coach. That's awesome. Yeah, we, can, we can hear that in, in the results of, of your material and your projects with that, like, very well honed in what you guys are doing, what you're doing, like, for your songs. That, that is unbelievable how well you guys are doing that stuff like that. And, um, like, now, have you performed? I know COVID is going on right now, but have you performed in the past or do you have visuals or videos that's out there so our listeners can actually check out? Yes, I do have a YouTube page. Um, if you just type in Zamira Israel Music, you'll see my YouTube page. And that's, I think I have a playlist of just all my performances of different places, different venues. I've um, performed that and um, just honored that I was able to do that. But, yeah, I did a lot of natural hair expo shows as well for the Wooly Hair Song. So that was nice. Um, Give me that website again. Um, if you go to YouTube dot com slash I believe it's Zamira Music Israel. <laughs> I think. Okay. But yeah, well, if I'll you put Zamira Israel, you'll find it. Different. Let me go to I'm on I'm actually on YouTube right now. So not that's, the that's, dope. that's, that's dope not right the there. natural woolly. That's a diff that's a different one. Well natural woolly is actually my it's like a, a vlog page that I started to help sisters manage their woolly hair, you know, which is just a, a word for the word it uses in the Bible for kinky hair. Yeah. Okay. So what's the other one for YouTube? What is it? I, I'm going to type it in. Okay. Uh, try YouTube.com slash Zamira Music Israel. Z E M I R A music I S R A E L. That should be the the site for my YouTube channel. Okay. Did you remember the, the, the movie that uh, that Chris Rock did? It was called, I think it was called Hair or something like that. It was something like that. Like, uh, you remember that movie he did something about there in, in Atlanta? So something about like you know it was about about hair. Like it was like it had all these like, sort of. Uh, I want to say some sort of a contest or something like that or something to that effect. It was it was all about oh. hair, you know. Yes, um, I think it was called Good Hair. Good Hair, okay, yeah, it is. Okay. Is yeah. that something like? Yeah, like, do you? Uh, um, that's something that you have on this form that you have for your uh, for your YouTube channel. Do I have the movie on there? No, I'm saying like, is that like a forum that you have like, on the on your YouTube channel or? Is it like, you know, people can get, oh. like, hair care products or information about how they can, like, you know, get their hair in that kind of way? Cause I know, you talking I know, about the Wooly um, one or are you talking about the Zamira Music one? Which one are you talking about? No, I'm, saying, uh, uh, I'm saying about the thing that with, uh, that, that Chris Rock did, you know, for that film that he did, but also about, like, what she has done, like, for her, her form for what she has going on oh. right now. Well, yeah, that movie was very, uh, very helpful for me and my lord because we watched it, and it just really showed us the harm that relaxers do to our scalp and our brain, <laughs> and even our our uterus. You know, it helped. It, you know right. how we can't have children and everything like that. So that movie was very interesting. I was transitioning while watching that movie with him, and he once he saw that movie, he said, "No more relaxers for me," and that was it. And I just started transitioning. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then I did the little big chop. And that's all on the Natural Willie, my vlog there. That's really like the hair vlog, which I haven't been really active on that. But I have some some tutorials on how to wash it, how to condition it, things like that. All right, that's, that's, that's very good. Like okay. That. Well, well, when she first put start really pushing that, it was three years ago. Okay. So 
at the end, mm-hmm. everybody was starting to transition. Pretty much everybody nappy now, so we got it. <laughs> so she ain't really going on that no more. <laughs> she, got, she, got, she got her point but, across. But the thing was, they, they did a thing about about a law, because they were trying to cut, like, cut dreadlocks off in school. Are you serious? Yeah. They were trying to like, cut the hair, the braids and stuff. Because, you know, like we see this thing about the hair design about in, in, in slavery, like they had maps in the hair. You know, like not, I said, mm-hmm. not nap, but maps, M A P S. Like, you know, how to way that people can get, you know, do certain ways to get, you know, out of, out of, uh, you know, to get to freedom. And um, there's a whole thing that's coming up for that as well. You know, it's a, it's a documentary about mm-hmm. that, about the hair. Yeah. You know, and, and um, it's a lot that's going on how to way people try to, um, you know, try to be like a part of what the, colon- you know, the colonialism about that. Uh, straightening mm-hmm. hair out, or wearing my straight hair, or the wigs and things like that, and that, that nature. Um, but it's a lot of people going, you know, going back to the natural. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think I like that. I, I, you like my natural hair thing? Like you like that? I, I I like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I noticed that you call your husband my lord. What what makes you? I mean, like, what when did you start doing like like? Is that something that's um uh, uh um for part of the religion to to like uh, explain what what made you start calling him my lord? Because I've heard you say it a couple times. Well, um, uh, when you read First Peter. Chapter three, mm-hmm. I believe, it talks about how our foremother Sarah used to call her right. her Lord, her husband Abraham, Lord. Now, also, right. if you read um, in the Old Testament, a lot of the women, a lot of our foremothers, called the men in general Lord. That's just how we did right. it. That's how that's right. how much respect we had for our for our right. brothers. And so, right. but especially if you're married, you know that's that's something. That you know, I just started doing because it said if you're Sarah's daughter, if you're Sarah's daughter, then you would be calling your your husband Lord as well. So that's I just started doing that after reading that. Wow, that is so much respect for your partner, so much that. love yeah. for your for your partner. Like that's yeah. awesome. So the very first song that I video that I pulled up when we first um, had our very first conversation was a cover song that you did. Um, that was a deep, Ooh. deep song. Like, oh, yeah, we we must play that. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. Should yeah, we should one. we talk about it first, and, or play it first, and then talk uh, about it? I, you know, let's real deep. Uh, okay. So so break break down strange fruit, and then oh. we're gonna play it. Oh man, I mean, you know what's been going on with us. So you know, other than crying and getting emotional the best I can do is, you know, use my art to really speak on the times and, you know, why not use, you know, a song that's already been out. Me, um, Billy Holiday. I know, right. I believe Lewis Allen wrote the song, but Billy Holiday sang the song and then yeah. Nina Simone re sang it. And just the way yeah. Nina sang it, you can hear the pain, you know, you can hear that she was in the times. You know, as as well as Billy. Billy was in the times, and right. you know, right. uh, like Scripture prophesies, we're gonna be in those times until Christ comes. And so, mm. yet again, we're here again. We're seeing our brothers shot down, our sisters shot down, um, lynched, everything. So I just figured, let's bring this song back up because evidently it's still relevant. And I'm not even gonna try to reinvent the wheel. I'm not gonna try to write a whole new song about it. I'm gonna just sing one of my sister's songs, you know, and just try to try oh, to do it justice. And that's just what we did. The 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 song oh, is yeah, deep, but that song. video that you did, oh, woo, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, woo, good my goodness. Was, was, it, it, it had me all in my feelings. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Let, let, let's, let, let's play it and then come back and talk about it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, do that. Okay. So um, we're going to play Strange Fruit. Uh, a, a cover song that was done by Zamira Israel, and we'll be right One move on script? Yeah. <laughs> Southern trees Barren Body swinging in the sun. 
I don't even know what else to say, but wow. Yeah, like, your wild. voice is so freaking powerful. Yeah. It don't make no freaking sense. I'm like, are we on the phone with the same thing to sing that song? Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, your, your voice Woo. is as powerful as, yeah. as Billy Holiday was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what's crazy? When Billy Ho- during that time that Billy Holiday did that song, I think that was one of the things that sent her into, like, that the drug issue because she was seeing everything that was happening. You know what I'm saying? That was neat. Yeah. That was neat. All praises to the most high. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, definitely. Yeah. That's deep. Like, yeah. right now we're hearing about you know, them finding men, uh, yeah. someone has been men hanging yeah. from uh, t- uh, different trees, mm-hmm. stuff like that around the country. And I'm telling you, African Americans are not about to be committing suicide in that manner, out in public. And, you know, when people commit suicide, mm-hmm. they're generally in a very depressed mode, depressed state, and they generally do it somewhere that they're by themselves. They're, they're hidden somewhere. They're not going to be doing it mm-hmm. in public places. You you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, right. And I just saw it's a fear tactic. Yeah, I just yeah. saw there was, a, and I didn't share it because you know I, I don't like sharing a lot of hatred type stuff. But I just saw I was telling B Love yesterday when, when we did want to move unscripted that I seen mm-hmm. uh, a picture of a, a Caucasian male and he's like leaning off of a truck and he has an actual noose around this big giant life size dog. You know, and, 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 and I'm just like. Are you serious, serious? Like, uh, is it hatred yeah. that bad? It's like, a, it's just it's like a bullying, a scare, and like you know, it's 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 very like if you put fear in people, you know, you, you put fear into people, then they'll be afraid of that. To be like, this is the second chance. It's like what's going on in this country. But there's a lot of powerful, strong-minded uh, black men and women in this country that we can actually like. Look, we're not going to take that. From you, you right. know what I mean, and let you know that we're going to expose you and tell you that if you come at us, 
want to come back. And that's the thing there. Like, people are waiting. Oh, it's going to be a race war. And all that. No, 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 no. We're going to back you down so you can just go back and see a little spot and just, you know, reevaluate mm. the things you're doing. It's just crazy. But, you know, with the 400 in the Bible, and I know uh, the 400 years of slavery ended, right? Yeah. Um, the curse is supposed to be over. So that means let my people free. But I can tell you, I, I'm not a Bible scholar by any means, but I do know that whenever God put out a message to let his people go, and he didn't the oppressor always suffer because of that. Right. Yeah. That's um, the thing like we're like, yeah. like yeah. that, you know. that was that, that was a deep song. Yeah, that yeah. had like, you all up in your feelings. Yeah, yeah, I was like you were running outside just about blacking out on people. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, yeah. talk to my people. So <laughs> I I have another song. I have actually two more songs. Um the other one that I have for you is Legendary People, and also two are better than one. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. taking each one uh, individually, tell us what inspired those songs. Um, Legendary People, again, that was inspired by just um, engulfing myself in the studies and really relearning everything I learned from the Christian church you know, everything I didn't learn in the Christian church and realizing every Bible people pick up, they're really reading about us. They're reading about the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian history, you know. Um, We are the the Israelites, and so that's very legendary. I mean, you know, (laughs) so I just just started writing that song about that and um, just trying to articulate that the best I could in three, three plus minutes. (laughs) <laughs> right, right. And it, 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 it's a lot of information that's in there, and and people for our listeners right now, uh, like you saying, like with you and your and your Lord, you know, your your husband that you you guys are like really have a really strong bond with. For people of our people who need to get this kind of information to try to get there, um, how could they like find out more information about that? Like you know, just trying to find out about you know about the, the true Israelites and the, the true Hebrews. Well, I was finding someone who knows a, at least a little of the knowledge and just connect yourself with them because the scripture says where two or three are gathered, Christ is in the midst. So if you find someone that knows a little bit more than you and is and is willing to um, expound on it, which they should if they're in the scriptures, and <laughs> and then just start there, right. start start the fellowship there. And um and grow from there because you want to get your learning from the scriptures. You don't want to lean on man because scripture tells you not to lean on man. So, you know, if you can get the guidance from man, which it also encourages, then do so. But yeah, my right. husband okay. he's, he's very available if anyone wanted to to learn. Okay, and now, my now, sister, now how can... if, if I could help them as well. Now, what would they have to do, like you know, to, in order to get in touch with you guys about that? Are you using like social media, or a website, or something like that? Of course, um, yeah, my website is ZamiraIsrael dot com, but I'm all over social media, so um, I can be reached by messenger as well. My husband, he's he's on social media; he can be reached via social media uh, messenger as well. But um, yeah, the site. When you go on my site, on the bottom right, there's a messenger link, and you can just click that, and that goes straight to my phone. So if there's a question from my husband, a question from me, we'll get it straight on my phone. Is your husband there with you now? He is definitely next to me. <laughs> That's okay. Hey. We, we, we want to hear his voice, too. I'm going to say Okay. Well, does he mind being on the phone? <laughs> yes, he's he's here. Hold on. I'm trying to listen online. He's listening online, so he hears a little lag. Okay. <laughs> but well, I'm going to give him the phone, okay? Okay. All right. okay. Uh, shalom, everybody. Shalom. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Um, Very good. I just wanted to see you guys. I'm sorry? Is it, is it best than peace? No, I said oh, peace and blessings we appreciate to appreciate that. I just love your the two of you. Your relationship is just so beautiful. The way that she, you know, holds you up with so much honor. Like we need more of that. We need more women like holding up their men. You know, they so quick to call them the cuss word. You know, mm-hmm. and all this con- this that and the other, and complain right. about what they not and who they not and and why mm-hmm. they not. And it's it's 
it's very refreshing to hear, you know, a wife talk about her husband in such a, yeah. a, a uplifting and yeah. wonderful way. Like so much respect for y'all yeah. and, and and the love you share. Right. Oh, all well, praise to the Most High. Appreciate the compliment. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so y- your wife is the bomb diggity. I- I'm yeah. just letting you. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to like, tell me that. I know. Yeah, I found I found her on the bomb dot com. I found that. You found her in the bomb dot com. I I wanted to ask you about the Z tribe as as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Z tribe? Oh, that's that's my wife's thing. That's her. That's her. Um, that's her uh, Facebook group that uh, she um, does. Is like you know. Friends and fam and and fans that help support the music and help her push it. Um, and she gives an opportunity for the listeners and the ones that are that really get into her as an artist to really be actually a part of what she's doing. So it's um it's cutting edge, you know. Uh, it's something right. new. It's it's the future of music and social media mixed together. So you know mm-hmm. we're trying to be at the forefront of that stuff. So were you already a producer and everything before you and your wife connected, or did this gift come about after meeting her? Um, no, I was not a producer, actually. No, no, no. I, 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 had friends, I, had friends, I had friends that were producers, and I, I always took an interest into it because uh, I love music, you know, coming from the Bronx and being Puerto Rican. Right. And, um, yeah, I'm from the South Bronx. And uh, the home of hip hop, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the same projects KRS was from, if I'm not mistaken. But um, that's what's up. But, yeah, right, that's one of my favorite artists, right like there. Yeah, my Haven, Millbrook, all these places in the Bronx. But yeah. so, the, so I have friends that were producers, people that that made beats, and I always liked it, and I always played around with it. And when I met her, I think I was on the train one day, and I sent her a beat I made on my phone. And she wrote a song to it, and they wound up getting put on the album. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Israel. And um, okay. Oh, okay. And, 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 and yeah, and so in between dealing with her and then dealing with the congregation I used to be a part of at that time, um, there was a need for you know audio production and broadcasting and music and, and scoring for video. So I you know I I dove into that stuff and I I did it more so for her. To be honest with you. Um, yeah. And as as she grew and the need for more production grew and better equipment and I had to either learn or I was at the, I was at the mercy of people being patient and wanting to show me stuff or or willing to help us, which we know that in the world we live in today that's very hard to find. So right. um, because so because of that, you know, I looked at other people as if if you could do it, I could do it. You know, I might not do right. it as good as you, but I'll get really close. And so it sounds like you're um, doing a darn oh, good job, Ash. Really <laughs> good, like you said. You're already there, all the way up. Yeah. yeah. So are you, um, are you a member of the Atlanta Music Industry Group on Facebook? Are you? Uh, have you? Are you a member? I know your wife is. No, ma'am. No. I, if she if she don't introduce me to it, I, it'll take me a while a while to find find it. So if she's on it, then we're on it. I just don't okay, know right. Because y'all team. Like Adam and Eve, like, like Bonnie and Clyde, like yeah, two yeah. man, two women. Yeah. You got one, you got both. I got that. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to play um, Legendary People and we're going to play Two Are Better Than One. Two Are Better Than One. You know what I'm saying? Because when you know my life, we just, we just became the bomb team. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and party like a rock star. <laughs> hey, two, two and better than one, if I'm not mistaken, that's the track uh, our son is on, right? He re- he does the Lord's Prayer on that one? Yeah, at the end. Yeah, that's our little boy that does the, the Lord's Prayer at the end. Oh, wow. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to play that real quick, y'all, and we'll be right oh. Sounds good. Legendary. Uh, <laughs> Just wanna get one thing straight. Everything I say on this track ain't up for the base. No, yeah, I do pray you relate. If your name's not written in the book, you'll be open to the shape. Yeah. Let us now praise him. The God of Israel made us his favorites. Ain't it crazy? Ain't it crazy? So what if some don't believe us? We're famous. Legendary, legendary people. Oh, legendary. 
tuned in to an episode of On the Move Unscripted with me and my radio hubby, Mr. Stout, and we're currently interviewing Zamira Israel. I absolutely love it. I love the music. I love your movement. I love your ministry. It's just it's, it's awesome and amazing. Oh, praises to the most high. Thank y'all for having me. I love y'all chemistry. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. thank you. <laughs> So um, <laughs> let us know what the social media handles are. Social media, uh, Facebook. Uh, my music page is Zamira Israel Music. If you just type that in the search or just Facebook.com slash Zamira Israel Music. Uh, Facebook.com slash pages slash Zamira Israel Music. Um, Instagram is just at Zamira Music. Um, Twitter, at Zamira Music. YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Zamira Music Israel, or just type in Zamira Israel Music and you'll find me there. And that's really the the main four that I'm on. Well, I am so excited. Oh, and my website. I'm sorry. That's okay. My website is ZamiraIsrael.com. ZamiraIsrael.com. Mm-hmm. I am so excited that you chose our lane to come down and to share, you know, your music with the, the members of the Atlanta Music Industry Group and just with Facebook and in the world at large. You know, it, it, I, like I always say, uh, this is where music is changing, just like the seasons mm-hmm. have changed. And so we need more mm-hmm. music like yours, you know, and other artists that sing about love and, and, and all those things. Yes, thank you so, so much for having me. I love it. I love what you guys are doing. Thank you. So um, um, I've been sharing everything in the Atlanta Music Industry Group as we interview, so hopefully all of you who are listening right now, you'll go and check out her music, buy her music. Is everything, where all can they buy your music at? Um, uh, Any digital platform, also on my site, ZamiraIsrael.com. Um, but just feel free to stream it. That's good too. Awesome and amazing. Well, we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. And um, yeah, we just we just, we just I don't know what to say. Just love you, love you, love you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to tell all my um, other every- artist friends about y'all. <laughs> oh, definitely. Come our way. You know, we we definitely um love to promote. That's what we do, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna go and play um as we roll out to our break, 
because we're going to take an intermission for our next guest. But I'm going to play mm-hmm. because he really liked um, uh, um, the one, the first song that we that I played. I think it was Stand Up. He really, really liked mm-hmm. it. He's like, well, that song. So I'm going to replay Stand Up. <laughs> And once again, we thank you so much for um, for tuning in, and we appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you too. Peace and blessings. Peace and peace and love. All right, y'all. On the move, unscripted. We're gonna yeah. go into a little break. Was it stand up that you said you love, or a champion? Which one was it? I would stand. I stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. yeah, all of them is a bomb. But stand yeah. up. You want to hear stand up? You want to play stand up for you again? I will. I do that for you. Right. <laughs> On the move, unscripted, y'all. We'll be right back. Baby crawl before it walks. 